Earth's surface is always changing. Some changes occur quickly, like earthquakes and volcanic eruptions. But other changes happen slowly over time. Forests can turn into deserts after millions of years, and deep canyons can be formed by the power of running water. In this lesson, you will learn about two slow processes that change the Earth's surface, weathering and erosion. Weathering is a natural process that breaks down rocks into smaller pieces. Breaking rocks is hard work, like using a hammer to smash a rock. Over long periods, the wind can also wear away rocks. Running water, waves, and rain can break down rocks too. Temperature changes also lead to weathering. Rocks can crack when they heat up or cool down too quickly. Over time, weathering can turn rocks into small particles. As weathering breaks rocks into smaller pieces, it becomes easier for natural forces to move them. This movement is called erosion. Erosion is when wind, water, and ice carry weathered rocks and soil from one place to another. Weathering alone can change the Earth's surface, but when weathering and erosion work together, the changes happen even faster. This flow chart shows how weathering and erosion change the Earth. They can turn rocks into canyons or sand dunes. This bar graph displays the speed of water needed to move weathered rocks of different sizes. Clay and silt particles are very small, with a silt particle being less than a thousandth of an inch in diameter. Pebbles are small rocks, while small boulders are about one foot across and weigh around 10 pounds. Look at the bar graph. How fast does the water need to move to carry a small boulder?